It's time for baseball on MLB Network. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Oakland A's and the Ducks. The Ducks will try to wrap up the three-game series sweep, and we'll have it for you next. Ricky Aguirre gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a look at a real competitive pitcher here. Career ERA in the low threes, and that's not an easy thing to do in the day and age of small ballparks and guys swinging for the fences. Rock solid pitcher, does a lot of things well, and it'll be fun to watch him work in this one here today. Now at the plate, Drew Jackson, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Jackson. First pitch of the at bat. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's around first, heading for two. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. If that's any indication, I think we're going to see some aggressive at bats in this one. Take the first pitch of the game? No way. He squared it up and winds up on second base after a nice line drive. Great opportunity to get on the board right out of the blocks. And that'll bring in Ramon Laureano. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Dan Dero, we take a look at our home nine as they take the field here today. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. Laureano a native of the Dominican Republic. He was a 16th round selection during the 2014 draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. Aguirre is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around, and on top of that, he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher, one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting outs as quickly as you can. And there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy. Not a lot of pitches. One of the things I like, he's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at-bat. At the plate, Justin Turner as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Takes this the other way to right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Batting four. The first baseman. Man. And here's a shot of the athletic starting lineup for this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, I'm hoping to see Justin Turner turn it around. I mean, this guy was a 300 hitter last season. Clearly something's off for him right now, but I do think we'll see him change his fortune as time goes on. He's too good of a hitter to let this go on much longer. Now batting, Matt Olson. Good opportunity for him to add to his season RBI total here, which currently sits as third best in the American League. Well, he's right in the prime of his career, and clearly that is resulting in big things for him. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Line drive to left. And there's a base hit as the run will score from third, and the A's have taken a one to nothing lead. Hey, you never know when the turning point's going to come. It could be your number right there. Just an excellent job. Two out RBI. I know it's early, but clutch hitting is not just for the late innings. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 
Looking at his career totals, Chapman carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. The 1 0 home. Well hit to right. Just foul. Olsen, the runner at first with two gone. And that misses two and one. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Two hits lead to a run here for Oakland. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The A's lead this one, one to nothing. Chris Bassett gets the starting nod for the A's in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Lawrence Cohen is at the plate as he watches ball one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Yeah, Matty, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1-0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush-like approaches to their at-bats, and it's working for them. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1 home. Shot towards second. But well, this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. What do you think they need to do to keep the winning streak a rolling, D-Row? Matty, this lineup is built on one thing. Their best tool is the fact that they have amazing speed up and down the lineup. I don't, I don't even think the third base coach gives a steal sign. I think a lot of these guys have the green light. So be on the lookout for that today. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And there are two away now. Batting third, the catcher, Steve Cohen. Now to the plate, Stephen Cohen. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Here it comes. And he holds up here, but the pitch is a cold strike anyway. I know he stole a strike right there, but he wants to get that curveball down or he's going to get hurt. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. The 1-1. One, one. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Now the 2-1. Line drive base hit. So they get a two out base runner here following the base hit and that leads us to check out the league leaders in team batting average. And in fact that number is not only the highest in all the American League but is actually the highest in all of baseball. to the plate now Oliver the man popped him up Murphy has a play
makes the catch and that'll retire the side. So that'll bring up Steven Piscotti and the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Ready with the first pitch here it comes just a bit high with the fastball but didn't get the call. Today's contest is, of course, the finale of the series, and the home side has dominated so far. They've got the opportunity to complete the sweep with a win in this one. You know, and it's not an easy thing to complete a sweep, particularly in this day and age where the games and the teams are so competitive, so a sweep at home would be extra special. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a base hit to kick things off here, and there's a man aboard to start out there half of the second. Well, d -Row, you have to love that if you're a hitter. You get ahead in the count, 2-0. Oh, you get a fastball right down the middle, and he sure knew what to do with it. Are you kidding me? You fight tooth and nail to get into count leverage at bats. 2-0, 3-1, 1-0 to buy yourself that fastball middle cut, and he didn't miss it. Chad Pinder stands in as he looks at ball one here. Pinder is a very well-regarded defensive outfielder. It used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage. But, of course, these days there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field. And in his case, he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this. But, man, does he come to work every day and play hard. So striding in, Sheldon Noisy. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First offering on its way. Fastball just inside. And one thing that would certainly help their cause in going for the sweep is if they can break out the big bats like they did yesterday. Several home runs in that ball game. Listen, it's hard in this day and age with all the quality pitching to put up double-digit runs like they did yesterday. They'd certainly like to have some of those back if they could and add them to today's box score. Now the one-and-one one pitch is strike two swinging. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Days go quietly there, and after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. Digging in, Ben Whitney. Nine at bats in the series and four base hits. First delivery to him on the way. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Three and oh now. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. The 3 0 pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Well, that is definitely not the way to start it in. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Standing in, Spencer is dudeness, and he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Inside and low, two and one. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Now the 2 1. There's a fastball taken high for a ball. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. Runner goes for second. Fouled off. A runner at first with no outs here. Skied into straightaway right. The Scotty will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. That is better. At the plate, Michael Cohen first at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. What a terrific month this guy had last month, hitting over 350. If he can continue at this pace, he's got a legitimate shot to win a batting title. Throw over to the bag and a dive, but he's back in there. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Ball two with a sinker that runs off the inside. Now the 2-0. Is up in the zone, but below the letters apparently for a strike. The 2 1. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. One there. Relay to Olsen. They turn the double play, and that retires the side. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Striding in, Sean Murphy. And he'll start out there half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Sean Murphy. First pitch on its way. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time. Laid off for ball one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Skied into very shallow right. His dudeness has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East.
Digging in to try it again. Drew Jackson. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now back number 22. Into the box now, Ramon Laureano. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. No balls in one strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Two balls and a strike. What we're seeing here is a guy getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even when he's standing in the batter's box. Now the 2 1 pitch. I got 3 1. 3 ball. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Three and two to the A's center fielder. The M.O. of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat if a guy can effectively, consistently pitch inside like he is. Thing has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Yeah, and with two outs, the pitcher was mentally in the dugout already. Now he's got to regroup and find a way to get out of this. Hard not to feel for the guy. Riding forward now is the D.H. Justin Turner hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. First pitch of the at bat on its way. That's a strike to throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. To first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. The A's strand one, but they're up one to nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and digging in is the rookie designated hitter, Nigel Pierre. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That one's right down the middle for a strike with the fastball. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Fouled away. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Hits softly on the ground to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Batting up. The second baseman. Al Mustina. At the plate, Al Messina. He also had three hits in the win last night. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And it's fouled away. The 0 1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. 
fouled off. The 0-2 once more. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Stepping in now, Lawrence Cohen. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The wind up and the 0 1. Nope. Ball 1. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Soft grounder left side. Chapman brings it in. Rolanda Olsen will take care of him at first and that ends the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Olson. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. First delivery to him on the way. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. 2-0 count, the pitch. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. So another multi-hit game for him as he's aboard here in the top of the fourth inning. And that leads us right to our Oakland leaderboard as we see that his season total is good for second best on the club. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Ball one to start the at-bat. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One and 0 pitch on the way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that that ball found the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and the guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not, and now we've got a couple of guys on. Steven Piscotti is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. set and the 0 1 one great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive with two guys already on pretty good shot he's going to get a challenge pitch right here Now the 2-1 pitch. 
Vasquez offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. Hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting inside trying to be quick to everything, and then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. The 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. And that brings up Chad Pinder as he'll take a look at ball one. With runners in scoring position this season, Pinder is below the Mendoza line. The batting average under 200, unfortunately. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Cohen is going to get there to make the catch a few steps into foul territory for out number two. Now back, the second baseman, Sheldon. Noisy. Ready now. Sheldon Noisy. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Oh, one offering. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0 and 2 now. Oh, and 2. Here it is. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. From the stretch, the one-two. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Two down, runners at first and second. A little roller toward the hole. On to first, and the A's fail to cash in here as the side is retired. A's strand a couple. They lead it one to nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Lucas Cohen. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. you got to go into battle mode after falling down 0-2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. This is on the ground over to first, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The bat, the pitcher, he's there. Go ahead. Ready for another chance? Stephen Cohen, he singled his last time up. Yeah, guys, still the only hit in this game so far. They've been pretty well shut down. Guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point. No balls and a strike to count. The windup and the 0-1. Hard hit to first. Reined in. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting. 
third baseman, Oliver Dumpham. So here's the cleanup hitter, Oliver the man, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0 and 1. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Chapman has it cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. set for the start of the inning and now it'll be the catcher Sean Murphy Sean Murphy first pitch on its way ball one fouled away One ball and two strikes to the A's catcher. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hit on the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. Now batting, shortstop, Drew Jackson. Next up for the A's, Drew Jackson. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Going to be a tough play. And that's the second out. Now batting, number 22. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next will be Ramon Laureano. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And a fastball is in there for strike one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Trying to send him packing for the second time. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. A's are gone in order, but they hold a 1 nothing lead. Late Ben Whitney. He drew a walk his first time up. The first baseman, Ben Whitney. Pitch on the way. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. And another foul ball. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. And there's one away. The right fielder, number 13. Good sir. He's too good. In now, Spencer, his dudeness, he flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat, 1 0. Oh. 
at the letters but called high it's a ball the 2 0 lifted in the air to right field the Scotties on the move lays out and he's got it a great play for route number two certainly a highlight reel grab that we just witnessed so here it is again with show track and the high 90s route efficiency is what stands out he read it off the bat exceptionally well and closed ground on it just about as well as one could standing in Michael Cohen and then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now feels like we're seeing a lot of three up three down innings no doubt about that Matt hey I've enjoyed watching him go about his business but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late yeah that remains to be seen here comes the first pitch no contact on the sinker there and he's behind 0 and 1 you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker there is just no way to do any damage. and the third baseman makes the play that ends the inning. Ready for another shot now. Justin Turner. He'll get his side started in the inning. And Dan, so far, they've been stifled offensively since the first inning. Boy, they sure have, Matt. They came out of the gates and got hot right away. But whatever was going for them pretty much has disappeared. We'll see if they can wake it back up. The pitch. Too high that time with the inning's first pitch. It's ball one. One and one the count now. Here it comes. Ball. Two balls, one strike. High in the air out to center field. Cohen is underneath this one. One down. Now batting the first base, Matt Olson. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Couple of singles to his credit thus far. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Now here it comes. And this one's over at the knees, 2 1. That's evidence of a pitcher and catcher being totally in sync out there. That tells me they both know that's a good pitch for him right now. Now the 2 1 pitch is looked at for ball three. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. The three one high fly ball out to straightaway center. Cohen is camped under this one. And that's out number two. So he's just a third of an inning away from putting up another zero as we take a look at the ball clubs with the lowest team ERAs. And you can see that this staff currently leads the AL in that category. Coming to the plate now, Matt Chapman. He's working on a one for two game so far. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Now the 1 0. Ball inside. One run, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. 
Oh, looked to be right on that one, but he swings through it. It's two and one. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. He got him to go down after that one, and it's two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the A's. But they're on top, one to nothing. Riding into the box, Nigel Ier will start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that. Now, they've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they face other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Late one ball, one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And now pitch on the way. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And he fouls this one off. Four foul balls in this A-B. Pitcher cannot find anywhere to go to put this guy away. Fly ball. Not particularly deep. Pinder settles under it, and there's one gone. Now back, the second baseman, Al Mustina. Now with the plate, Al Messina. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Small one. Small one. Bases are empty. One man out. And this is just off the outside corner, ball two. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. That's in there, three and one. Hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by him. Fouled off. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. One out, nobody on. This is foul right side. The next three, two. And try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. A lot of indecision there on that check now swing, that. and that's Good something shot. you see quite a lot Lord. on three and two. When the difference between striking out and drawing a walk in can be an inch or two, it's pretty understandable why guys aren't always aggressive with their swings. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hard on the ground towards short. Rowanda Olson will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. Outfielder Steven Piscotti, the next to hit. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. 
that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. A little indecisive with that swing as he waves through it. Hey, sometimes you have to look at it like it's not how or how many. Pitching very well into this one into the late innings, and his first pitch strike percentage, less than 50%. He'd like it to be a lot higher than that. He's making it very difficult on himself, but he's still getting outs. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play so that'll move the count to two and two now. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up and there's out number one. Now that the left field. Jan Hinder. So striding forward now, Chad Pinder, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. First delivery to him on the way. One run, five hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Good cut fastball in there, one and one. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The one two. Misses ball two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Another 2 2 offering, and good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, 3 and 2. Keep in mind, people, the longer the at bat, the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. When you're this deep into a start, it can be really exhausting and annoying now when a hitter makes you work as hard as he did right there. He got the strikeout. That's great, but he's probably thinking, get that guy out of here. In now, Sheldon Noisy as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Wind up and the 0 1. Boy, he comes back with a beautiful pitch there and he's dominating this at bat. It's 0 and 2 now. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2 to 3 for good measure as the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Oakland is on top in this one, one to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Lucas Cohen will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The battle. The catcher, Cohen. Now at the plate, Stephen Cohen. First offering on its way. Hit down the third baseline. Chapman's got it. 
And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. And definitely worth another look with our show track data. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop. And then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Oliver the man. Here's the first pitch to him. This guy's throwing a gem so far. Biggest key, 80% of his first pitches have been for strikes. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Now the 2 1 pitch. Count even at 2 and 2. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Well, he gives up the walk, but that was a really good pitch. Might have been just out of the zone, but not by much. A lot of guys would have gone fishing for that pitch, so sometimes the hitter just outlasts you. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now, Ben Whitney. And he does so representing the possible go-ahead run. First pitch on its way. He'll start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1-0. and oh. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. Great job by the pitcher right there, changing eye levels. We all know he's a sinker ball pitcher, but if he could throw some four-seamers up in the zone like that, it could work for him. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Two out with the man at first. Quick check on that tying run at first, and he just manages to get his hand in. the 2 1 bounce to first oh and he can't come up with it and the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first now that right I'll tell you what Dero this guy's been right on there. point after that Three, knock that's two, only three. their second knock of the game and it's getting late into this one yeah it's frustrating you can see it from the manager to the hitting coach to everyone in this lineup they are really upset with the way they've swung the bats maybe this is the start of something late Spencer his dudeness is in with two away as he takes a ball one and oh in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Popped him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. And when a guy starts leaving the curveball up, that's a sign he's beginning to tire a little bit out there. He's got to be able to get on top of that pitch, or he's going to start getting hurt.
A 2-2 pitch. Rounded down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. Big spot. Two out. Possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. And it's fouled away. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Slow roller out to short. Scooped up. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Dan Palmer has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Dan Palmer. Ready to begin the eighth, and next to hit is the catcher, Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. <laughs> Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The Ducks are looking for the sweep in this game, as we mentioned earlier, but trailing by one, they're going to need to come from behind to do it. This one's still well in striking distance. Only trailing by one going late on to the game. They just need a bloop and a blast or some kind of extra base hit. This one's far from over. At the plate now, Drew Jackson. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. And for the opposition, wrapping this up and salvaging a win would at least make their trip out of here a little more pleasant. This could be just what the doctor ordered. Nobody likes to get swept on the road, so winning this one could be big for building back team morale. One ball, one strike to count. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. Bases are empty, one man out. Misses, ball two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Now at the plate, Ramon Laureano. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He's got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. First pitch on its way. Oh, and that one slung through the strike zone that time at 98, 0-1. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Runner, runner, runner. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Strike called. Now the throw down. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Certainly a very close play at second on that bag, so let's analyze it with show track. We all know he's got plus speed on his side, and you really see it represented in the top speed. That really made the difference on that one. One out, one on, and a one-run game. That fastball straightens him up a bit. One and two now.
breaking ball swung on in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Loriano is retired two down now. Good pitch there. And that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. Digging in, Justin Turner. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. One and oh, here it is. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Two oh to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. Hitters count the pitch down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Turner in front at three balls in a strike. Two out here and a runner at second. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Now that the first base. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. I'm set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. Two men are on with two men out. Well, should be 2 and 0, oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1 and 1. Guess where he's going with this next pitch. Probably a little further outside. See if the fish are still biting. Uh, ball and two strikes now. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. The one-two pitch. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. A couple of walks, but no damage. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. J.B. Wendelkin is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. 57, J.B. Wendelkin. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. More digging in is the outfielder, Michael Cohen. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. First offering on its way. in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. A 1 1 takes a pitch for strike number two. Wendelkin, a native of Georgia. He's a five year vet at the major league level. One, two. <laughs> Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Ground. 
ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's through into center field. So the time runs aboard to kick off the inning. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A.B. in this one, but he's able to get it done. Hey, better late than never. And I'm sure when he walked into that batter's box right there, he's thinking, this very well could be my last A.B. of this game. So if I'm going to keep this streak alive, going to have to do it right now. Into the box now, Nigel Pierre. One ball, no strikes to count. Second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw is not going to get him as he swipes second. So they still haven't picked up an extra base hit in this one, but that stolen base at least gets him a guy in scoring position. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what the manager was thinking there, Matt. Hey, if we aren't driving the ball with any authority today, we need to make something happen in a different way. They only need a single to the outfield now to push a run across. And look out as this runs up and spins him out of the way. Now the 2-1 pitch. And he fouls this one off. No one out with a runner at second. Down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Now back. Stepping up now, Al Messina. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. One zero finds the zone. Strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. The one one runners on his way to third. Pitch is high. The throw he is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. One of the keys to stealing third is to get a big lead off the second. And that's just what happened, even though this catcher has a cannon for an arm. Now the 2-1. Oh, and he misses it. In time to first, and there were two away. Now that is. Settling in now, Lawrence Cohen, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. He's set, here it comes. Ball one, no strike. The 1-0. Two outs here with the runner at third. Popped up. Olsen moving to his left. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the tying run in scoring position. Brown enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Now in the box, Matt Chapman. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. 
Yeah, yeah. kind of shocked. He got yeah. blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Owen won the count. Now here it comes. This is line to left. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. At the plate, Stephen Piscotti. As he'll take a look at the pitch too low, it's ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here comes the 1 0. Hit high and deep to right center. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And the run will score from second to make this a 2 nothing ball game. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. Into the box, Chad Pinder. As he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Fastball called for strike two. Brown, a rare South Dakota-born ball player. He's a second-year big leaguer. Two, here it comes. One ball, two strikes. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. This one's flared off to the right side. Right fielder coming on, but he won't get there. It falls in. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season. Well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. So now to the plate, Sheldon Noisy, as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Hit hard, but foul. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there. And he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. To the plate now, Sean Murphy as he lays nope. off a fastball too low for ball one. 
He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1 0. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base, find something middle of the plate and let it rip. Now here's a fly ball, well hit. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he didn't. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on you because you're walking into that batter's box thinking, I have a nice streak going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in the clutch. Francisco Rodriguez enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Standing in now, Drew Jackson as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the 1 0. It's the outside corner, strike one. Bases are loaded here, one man out. It's two and one to the A's leadoff batter. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. And this is swung on and missed. A huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. In now, Ramon Laureano. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Come set. The 0 1. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. Two out, base is loaded. Hot shot down the line, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at bat if they want to get back in this thing. But the A's get a run on this RBI double. Home half of the ninth is straight ahead. It's now 2 0 Oakland. Yasmero Petit comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Stepping into the box, Lucas Cohen. He's going to lead things off in their half of the ninth as they try to avoid the dreaded shutout. 
It's never a good feeling to get shut out. And over the course of the season, it's bound to happen a few times. They've just been overmatched by good pitching. First pitch coming. Here it is. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. A chopper fouled off to the left as the count moves to 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. Now here's the pitch. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Now another one two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. And there are the final numbers for the Oakland starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Hey, what a great job of mixing speeds and mixing up his pitches. Two hits allowed in this one. Dominant performance. Stepping in now, Stephen Cohen, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Petit. A Venezuelan born ball player. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, Matty, you ain't kidding right there. Ten years, we refer to that in the biz as hitting full pension. Now the 1 0. Swing and a liner. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he'll reach second now with one away. That's what you call a clutch piece of now hitting. Batting. Down two runs. He puts himself in scoring oh, position LeBron. and brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting. Ready once again, Oliver the man, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Here comes the first pitch. You know in this situation you almost have to pitch like there's no one on base that run really doesn't mean anything with the lead they've got the hitter is the guy that can turn this game on its head no offer on that one two balls and a strike. Fouled off. Runner at second here with one man out. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here's another 2 2. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at a miss. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play.
Into the box, Ben Whitney as he hits one on a line to left field. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. Throw to second, but he's in there as they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. So now to the plate. Spencer, his dudeness, fouled away. They'll go to work on getting that tying run home from second. on that one and crushed it just pulled it a little foul in the dirt throw goes over to third and he is in there at third is the possible tying run that can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third you have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. And it's fouled away. One and two. Here it is. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Go on to first. He'll be in time to take care of him. And the A's will salvage at least the finale in this three-game series as the ball game is over. Well, that's just a great job of battling on the road. They fought all the way to the end, took the lead in the top of the ninth, and secured the W in the bottom half. That's a great team win. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Oakland A's jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Chris Bassett with his fourth win this season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Ricky Aguirre is settled with a loss after giving up only one earn. Yasmero Petit wraps it up for the save, his 18th. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Here Network. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious athletic, two runs, nine hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For the home team, one run, five hits, one error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.